hello darlings welcome back to my channel so i'm carrying this wig on my channel for like the third time because you guys saw the video when i made this wig from scratch which i'll be linking in the i cards and in the description box and you saw when i shampooed the wig and now today we're gonna be recurling the wig so as you guys can see how it's looking right now you see a lot of frizziness some of it is a bit trashy and messy so i'm just gonna be transforming this wig um spoofing it up and making the curls look as fresh as possible by taking the least steps as possible because you know around here we like things a lot easier so yeah that's what i'm going to be doing so i'm starting off by adding some moisturizer to the hair and i'm just using the lotta body moisture me milk you can use whatever moisturizer you have it doesn't really matter oh and i'm going in also with my shear and just clipping off any straggly ends that are there and then i'm just adding more moisturizer and then i'm just going to be wrapping it around the rod and remember this wig was a soft curl wig so that's what i'm trying to achieve again i'm just slightly twisting it not twisting it too much just very slightly twisting it around the rod so of course you guys can go ahead and curl the entire wig from scratch again um we just detangle it a little bit with a wide tooth comb and i was saying you guys can recurl the entire wig but i didn't think it was necessary my wig was not looking so trashy from start to finish i mean like on top of it looked very frizzy the hair was kind of looking tangled but it wasn't tangled to be honest but it looked that way it looked really trashy um so i'm just going to be working the top portion of the wig i'm going to be leaving the middle of the wig completely and i'm going to be leaving the back portion of the wig so i'm just working the top portion which will be seen as somebody looks at me so that's what i'm basically here doing right now i'm just adding some moisturizer detailing the hair trimming if necessary and then just doing a um and then just wrapping it around the rod um i do have a video showing in more detail how i made the soft curls so you guys can check that out if you want to see in proper detail how i really achieved these curls So I'm finished rodding up the hair and I only used eight flexi rods in the hair because I'm just doing the top portion as I said before. Now I'm about to hot water the hair so you don't want the hot water to touch the entire wig because that would um, straighten the back portion of the hair and you don't want that. You're only going to hot water the portion of the hair with the rods. So I'll be using this towel to shield the rest of the hair and I'm also, and I'm also avoiding too much of the steam from getting on the other portion of the hair that doesn't have any rod on it. So now we're doing the takedown and this is how the curls are looking as you guys can see they're looking pretty fresh pretty much like brand new like we just hot water this year for the first time After taking out the rods, I'm just adding some more moisturizer to the hair, making it nice and smooth. And you can also go ahead and add some polisher to the hair, some loose oil that's always recommended for these um, types of wigs. Not too much, just enough to add a good amount of sheen and luster to the hair. 
So I basically just made this video to show you guys how you can maintain your crochet wig at home for yourself. So now I'm just installing the wig to my head, nothing difficult, just clipping it on at the front and the portion right at the part in there was not sitting as flat as I wanted to so I just decided to take a tiny amount of the white got to be glued um, gel and I'm just putting that there then I'll be using my blow dryer just to set it in place. I made it tacky and then I just press it down and then I'm just blow drying it on cool. So darlings, this is it for this video. I really hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up before you leave. And if you're new to my channel and you're interested in seeing more videos on simplified protective styles, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell that way you'll not miss any of my weekly uploads. I thank you darlings so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.